What's going on my friends? Welcome to another video. My name is Bijan T for those of you that don't already know. In this video, I'm going to quickly go over a trade that I did. It was an overnight trade. I got into the trade yesterday. I held it overnight and I closed it out this morning for a total of a $1,800 profit and just, you know, another different background, I guess. You know, I mentioned in my other videos that I might not be able to be making videos as often for you guys here because I'm going to be on vacation. I'm going to be out of town working on a few projects and things like that. So that's where I'm at right now. So that's why I haven't posted a few videos. Um, it's like 8 p.m. right now, and I'm, I've had a few minutes. I said, you know what, before you know, I eat, let me make a quick video for you guys. So that's what's going on here. Let me just show you guys the view as I like to do. You know, peep it out, peep it out. What a blessing. All right, so anyways, like I said, this trade, we made about $1,800 overnight using less than $2,500. So let's just jump right into it here. Alrighty, so first off, again, I mentioned this in my previous video, the one right before this one which was another swing trade or another like overnight trade uh, video. It shows 1,080 here, but the total profit was about 1,800. The reason it shows 1,080 here is because I had about $700 profit yesterday. I held it overnight and then today it has a 1,080. So, you know, you add the 1,080 plus the 700 and that's how you get the, you know, about 1,800. If the trade was still open, it would have showed the whole 1,800 on the profit loss open. But once I close the trade out, the open goes away and it only shows you what you have on the day. So that's why it shows 1,080. I don't want anyone to have a cow and start freaking out and saying, oh my God, scams. He said 1,800, but it's really only 1,080. Calm down, guys. You know, there's always those people in the world. So uh, that's pretty much that. It was a 1,800. Now, let me show you guys the orders real quick and then I'll jump into the, sh uh, to the chart for you guys. Now, like I said, this was an overnight trade, and the reason why I like to put an emphasis on this is because I like for people to understand that there's so many different things you can do in the market. There's not just one magical thing or one you know, specific thing that you can do. Oh, you have to be there right when the market opens, or oh, you have to be there right when the market closes. No, there's many different ways that you can, you know, like they say, there's 50 ways to make a record. You can be in a trade real quickly in the morning, be out within 15 minutes. You can hold a trade all day. You can get in right before the market closes close it out the next morning. You can get in a trade and hold it for a few weeks. You can hold it for a few months. I mean, shoot, you can even hold it for a few years. So whatever your lifestyle kind of calls for, I guess you can say, you, you would be able to accommodate it. So that's pretty much that. This was like an overnight trade. Uh, so I got into the trade at 10.57 yesterday. As you can see the date up here, it's the fifth here. So the fifth, I closed it out here. It's, you know, 8 p.m. here. So I had 10 contracts initially for two dollars each so that means you know again if anyone's new to options one is equivalent to a hundred so if it shows two dollars it's actually two hundred dollars so i had ten of them ten times two hundred that's two thousand dollars the initial cost of the trade was two thousand dollars then about two three minutes later two minutes later i added in another two contracts basically like increased my position size by like 20 percent. if you want to look at it like that as soon as I got like confirmation that we were breaking highs of the day and we had, you know, as I like to say in my terminology, once I saw that the demand was higher than the supply in a place that the supply was usually higher than the demand, that's where I decided, all right, I got some confirmation. I'm going to go ahead and add in. So that's where I added in. And of course, it was a little bit higher of a price. I added in two of them for $211 each. So that's 422. So the initial cost of the trade was 2000. Then I added in 422. So the total cost of the trade was $2,422. So we placed this trade with less than $2,500. So as I always like to say, if you had $2,500 in your account, you too could have made a $1,800 profit overnight, given that you know what you're doing. You get what I'm trying to say? And, and as I always like to say, you, there are going to be times where you'll lose money too. You know, it's not like, oh, 100% of the time you're going to win. But the idea is to have a, a, a risk management strategy and then have a strategy or a few strategies that win more than half of the time. That's, that's, but obviously, you know, I don't want to get all into that here. We're going to be here for, you know, hours if I start getting sidetracked and talking about all that kind of stuff. So the point is, you know, just have a risk management plan and all that. And, and I know some people are going to be like, oh, well, what about the losses and all that? Well, go watch my other videos. Like I always say, you know, whenever I post a video about a loss, no one ever really watches the video. I don't know why. You guys can go and look at like the research yourself. Go and look at all of my previous videos. 
any video that has anything to do with a loss, basically, sorry, there's like a helicopter out here getting all wild. Okay, so, anyways, let me just break down the rest of this trade for you guys here before more helicopters come and start causing a ruckus. So, long story short, we got into the trade for 2400 basically less than $2,500. We sold the trade the very next morning for 3000 well, you know what? Let me let me just actually give you guys the whole calculation instead of giving you guys the breakdown. We sold 12 of them for 351 each. If it was 10, it would have been us selling for 3500. But like I said, we have 12. So you do the math. 12 times 351 that's 4212. Subtract the cost of the trade. So we sold the trade for 4212. Subtract the cost of the trade, which I know this is like, you know, general information for some people, but there's some people that are new to this that don't understand how this works. So I want this to be able to be, you know, accommodating to all audiences. So subtract the $2,422. And that's where you get 1790 So the total profit, like I say, it's about 1800 but it was $1,790 at the end of it uh, to be exact and to be specific. So... This is why I say we had about a $700 profit yesterday. This is where I got in yesterday. The stock went up and it closed higher. So I had about a $700 profit when it closed. And then we opened up and gapped higher. And this is where we had a $1,080 profit. So $1,080 plus the $710 that I had yesterday. Add that together. That's the $1,790. So again, you can do the math in various different ways, guys. You can, you know, break it down like this. We got into it, 2,422, sold it for basically 4,200. You do the math, and that's where we get the 1,800. So now that I got that out of the way, sorry for the distraction, the distraction with the helicopters and everything. I don't know what was going on. Um, let me just show it to you guys real briefly on the chart here, and then we'll end the video and wrap it up here. So this is where I got in yesterday. Let's put it on a one-minute chart. Right here is why I got in my 10. Once I got some confirmation that we were able to break highs and kind of break out of like a specific pattern that I was watching it for, that's where I added in the other two. And then I had my plan. I let it sit. I let it do what it did. And obviously, you know, he ended up going higher throughout the day. And this is obviously not, like I said, market closed higher. So I was at about a $700 profit, held it overnight. We closed at about 280.50 and then we opened up at about 282.50. So that extra gap gave us that extra $1,000 profit there. So long story short, right here is where we got into the trade for $2,400. We'll say $2,400 for the sake of simplicity. And then right here is where we closed out the trade. And the total profit, like I say, one thousand seven hundred and ninety. We'll say eighteen hundred just for the sake of simplicity and all that. And that's pretty much that, guys. Nothing too crazy that goes into it here. Uh, I just wanted to try and do a little quick trade recap for you guys while I could. Uh, but there's just like so many distractions. You see what I'm trying to say, guys? This is why you know I'm, I'm glad that I even had a chance to to catch this trade before it even disappeared. Because you guys know me. If you've watched my videos, like you know, like religiously, and have seen all my other YouTube videos, you know, I'm the type of person that for me, because I'm on the Pacific time zone. These numbers will reset for me at like 9 p.m., 9.30 p.m. Because that's, you know, the next morning on the Eastern time. So once these numbers reset, I'm like, all right, there's no point in even making a video. So I'm glad I caught it. Had a little bit of time. Of course, we caught some distractions and all that. Uh, but anyway, so we'll wrap it up here, my friends. We got it. Less than 2500 So if you had 2500 in your account, you know what you're doing. You could have made the same kind of profit as well. And again, I know there's some people out there that just love to be haters and naysayers and be like, yeah, but you know, you can lose all your money. Well, I mean, that's why you have a risk management plan. You know, it's like, you know, I always say a used car example. You bought a used car for $2,500 yesterday right here. Then you sold it for $4,200 right here. You know, if you bought that car for $2,500 and found out something was wrong with it, you didn't lose your whole $2,500. 
You can go and sell it for a loss. You can pay to have it fixed and then sell it. You guys get what I'm trying to say? So risk management, have a strategy, have a plan, all that. But I'm going to start rambling at this point. So we're going to wrap it up here, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. You know the deal. Subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. Make sure you guys are following me on social media. Who's Bijan T? And I'll talk to you guys soon.